What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Free no one and welcome to Ken Gan Wednesdays. All right, guys. So today we will be going through chapter forty-seven to chapter fifty-three. All right, of Ken Gan Asher. In our last stream, we had the start of the Annihilation Tournament. Uh, we had Imai Cosmo take on uh, the Emperor, and Cosmo came out victorious with, uh, I believe it was a rear naked choke? or No, it was a triangle bar or something like that. And he used this thing called a zone. So what the Emperor, uh, I think it's Dudley, his name was, thought happened, didn't actually happen. And what happened is, Imai had gone in, and what... Uh, I'm going to stick with Emperor, thought is that he landed a massive hit on him, but what Emi did actually jump back, caught his arm, and then bang, pinned him down and knocked him out. We did see at the end of that chapter that Emi Cosmo actually did pass out from sheer exhaustion as well. And we were moving into our second match. We know that Omar is in the fourth match. So without any further ado, ado, guys, let's get straight into chapter 47, Transformation. So in Tokyo. Okay, let's break for lunch. Hey, new guy. You seem to be laying the ropes pretty well. So chapter 47, Transformation. I hear you're taking high school courses part-time. How would you like a full-time position here once you graduate? Really? That'd be great. I'll put in a good work for you. So this is Yamashita Kazuo's second son, uh, Yamashita Yasuo. So this is the kid that was given, that was doing a lot of crap, gangster type stuff. That Omar actually saved his ass. Alright. Oh, I better put the wheelbarrow away before lunch. Okay, but make it quick. Alright, so it looks like he, he's working hard. I like this. Huh? This is just, this is just real strange. Sure is. What's the matter for me? Oh, hey Yasuo. Alright, you don't know yet. The truth is, we just did repairs on this mansion, not even half a year ago. I was in charge back then too. Okay. Dude! They're both working on an Omer's one! So what kind of lifestyle are they living? What would wreck it this much in just half a year? I'll never understand the rich. Okay. I believe that is Omar's mansion. Okay. You think they're keeping a monster in there? <laughs> I won't be surprised. So we've got Kono. Okay. All right. The Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal. As one of the most mountainous nations in the world, this nation is home to several mountain tribes. In the Himalayas, about 5,000 meters above sea level, there was a certain village. And in this village, there lived a boy known as a monstrous child. Okay. The boy's name was Haru. Okay. There were many legends about this boy. At, by the age of six, he was already strong enough to easily lift an adult over his head. By the age of ten, he became the tallest man in the village. At the age of eleven, he killed a star leopard that attacked the village on his own. There were many others. Okay, I'm curious about who this guy is. Okay. But his defining legend was, are you all ready? Okay. We will now begin your coming of age ritual. This will be a rigorous trial, so be fully prepared. You will be descending this cliff face. There is a herd of Himalayan goats at the bottom. You will each hunt one and carry it back up the cliff. Okay. You are only permitted to use a single knife. Now, who wants to go first? I will master. Huh? Haru. Alright, you can go first. So, Haru, age 15. Dude, he does not look like a 15 year old. He looks like an absolute monster. Hang on, Haru. Is something wrong, Aku? Yeah, there's something wrong. You forgot your knife. Here, yeah, you can use mine. Don't lose. Thanks, but I don't need it. Okay, so he's gone in barehanded. What? Okay, guys, just wait there for me. Hey, Haru! So he's going in. Dude, and he's literally just jumping down the cliff. 
He jumped off the cliff? What's, what's he taking? Does he want to die? So he got. So, uh, is he running down the shit cliff face? That's what it looks like. He's just running down the cliff. He's jumped down, landed. Goats have seen him. Bang! He's landed. Master! Did you find Haru yet? He's coming back. Okay. So they're doing like a... Like that. Looks like he can kind of pop his eyeball out a little bit as well. So you've got Haru coming back up. Haru, is it? There's so many goats. Alright, so... So, I brought one for everyone. Dude, he killed enough for everybody. Impossible. An old male Himalayan goat weighs about 80 kilograms. Okay. Did he run back up the cliff carrying six goats? All adult males weighing over 480 kilograms combined. When he's only a 15 year old kid. So that's showing that he's got massive, massive amounts of strength. On this day, it's heavy. You're just not strong enough. <laughs> Haru was recognized as the most powerful warrior of his tribe. Alright, so he's got all the others. They all pass as well. A few years later. How had become the village leader, but his life came to a turning point. Okay. Haru. Hello, Elder. What do you need? Haru. This guest wishes to speak with you. Okay. A man from Japan. Kono Akira. This is the guy from Nintendo. You're right here. Akira spoke to Haru. He told him of the Kengen matches, of his search for a fighter, and of how he came to Nepal after hearing rumors about Haru. Okay, this is the guy from Nintendo. Okay, Haru, come to Japan with me. You can be the strongest fighter. I'll give you anything you want. What do you say? Kengen matches? I've always wanted to fight with all my might, even just once. But, leave my village. I can't. If I'm gone, who will lead the hunt? Who will fend off the predators that attack the village? And what if... Hey, what are you thinking? Okay. I've known you since we were kids. I can figure out what you're thinking easily. Haru, you don't have to let your position as leader hold you back. Look around you. Alright. Everyone in the village is supporting you. So everyone's like, yeah, go for it, go for it. I'll, I, I kind of like this, man. But what are you all? Your story is not meant to end here. Master. Haru, you are now unrivaled in the entire Himalayas. But the world is tremendously vast. Do not be a big fish in a small pond. Go out and see the world. Okay. Do you remember Haru? Back when we were kids, I was attacked by a bear in the next mountain over. I could never hope to win against the bear. But just when I thought... My time had come. My saviour arrived. Okay, so Haru came and saved him. That saviour was you, Haru. You rushed to my rescue and defeated the bear in an instant. It was then that I knew for certain that you were the strongest man in the world. Alright, so it looks like they're building this Haru guy up. This guy from Nintendo. It could be potentially he's in the next fight. Alright. You are far too kind, Haru. I know how worried you are for the village. All the villagers have high hopes for you. Myself included, of course. Isn't it your dream to fight to your fullest? This isn't goodbye forever. You're free to come back whenever you wake up from your dream, Haru. Yeah, yeah so it looks like he's getting all super emotional. Alright. And so, Akio took Haru back to Japan and adopted him immediately. Haru became naturalized as a Japanese citizen. This was his plot to bring Haru under his control. However, okay, so Haru's like, obviously, he's an abnormally, he's huge, he's muscly, right? What is this? He's huge. There's so many people. Is there a festival today? There's dozens of more people than there are in the village. Hey, is this a building? It almost looks like a mountain. It looks like it's bigger than the Himalayas. Okay. Yeah. Look how surprised 
this backwater simpleton is. I'm going to give him a taste of luxury. Let's go get something to eat, Haru. I'll break you down and make you my papa. So they're going to Yaru Sushi. One order of fatty tuna. This is a food called sushi. Go on, give it a try. All right, so he's tasting tuna. Fatty tuna is like really expensive stuff. I've never seen anything like this before. What kind of meat is this? And he's tasting, it's delicious. And he's like, oh my God. The people of this country don't even have to hunt to eat. And they eat, and they eat such delicious food too. <laughs> Do you like it? Order up. All right, so Japan is amazing. Akiko's plan was effect was effective at first. Is someone in this board? No, idiot. Go right. Damn you, turtle monster. All right. He he's moving. So he's like, it looks like he has a phone. But now, so people are yelling. Master, the young master's at it again. That that him be good grief. I'm going to have to get it repaired again. Okay. Sometimes a too fulfilling environment can be toxic. So it looks like he's broken a bed. And the venom of luxury gnawed away at Haru. Okay. <clears throat> this shovelware piece of shit is pissing me off. And so, Haru became Haruo. Okay, so it looks like he's become a bit of an otaku. Now for the, en the fighter's entrances. The assassin of the gaming industry and the most powerful home security guard is entering the ring. But can he beat he this tournament? So we've got the standing 242 centimeters tall, weighing at 315 kilograms for Kengen match record of 4 wins and 0 losses. Total assets acquired 310.246 billion yen re re representing Nintendo Kono Haruo! So Haruo is the, the destroyer Kono Haruo. Games, games, games. So it looks like he's become a gamer. He like, he's become an introvert. And I was like, huh? I was like, what? And everyone's like freaking out, what the hell? He's huge. Hey, give me candy. No, not now. Wow, he's pretty huge. He must get really terrible mileage. CEO will cast a life insurance. Hiyama Shunka. Yeah, we better get ready too. Okay. The Yurumi Akoya. Okay. Yeah, loud and clear. That's good. I don't have any single jammers in the stadium, just like I expected. Okay. This means we can use your miniature bone conductor implant. Not that we don't have anything else to work with, but I'd rather you didn't have to use your trump card. Roger that. Alright, so he's got like a, a thing so you can hear him. So he, she can talk to him. Let's go, Hayama. It's time to execute justice. Woo! Alright, so this guy's gonna go in. This is the guy who's taking him on. Nice. And that is the end of chapter 47. We're gonna move on to chapter 48 justice.